Just out after the closing bell, earnings from Netflix. This is the world's largest streaming video service, which added another two and a quarter million new subscribers in the past three months. The company made $53 million in profit last quarter, taking in a better than expected 86 cents a share, topping estimates by three cents. Revenues were right in line with forecasts at $1.27 billion. That was enough to send shares initially higher after the report. Seema Modi joins us now with more on Netflix numbers. So you've been running through all the numbers. What's your key takeaway? Well, Susie, aside from sales and profits, investors keep a close eye on Netflix's subscriber growth. The online streaming company added 2.25 million new domestic streaming customers in the first quarter. That was right in line with street estimates. But all eyes are on Netflix's reach outside the U.S. Its international subscriber base expanded by more than what analysts had been projecting this quarter. And international growth could potentially continue to be a driver going forward. Netflix, in fact, mentioned that it is expanding into to new European markets and that its international segment is on path to achieve profitability this year. Something else to keep note of, Netflix Netflix says it plans to increase its U.S. prices by a dollar or two for new members only. Existing members would stay at current pricing. That's $7.99 in the U.S. Netflix says this price hike will enable them to acquire more content and deliver an even better streaming experience. Of course, tomorrow the big question will be what are analysts saying in terms of how this price hike will impact future demand. All right, Seema, Seema Modi, thank you very much.